we are back. Welcome to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex. We are playing EU4. We are playing as Mamluks. We are going for the Levant Turnabout achievement, which is get rid of the Ottomans, which we're doing pretty well at, get army professionalism maxed out, which we're more than halfway there, and hold this, 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 and this, I believe. And we're doing pretty good with that as well. But right now, it's mostly just cleaning up. Growth of the administration. Oh, hold on to that. Now, what do we need to move forward on this? Core reduction costs would be nice, but ultimately it's not that necessary. Doesn't diplomatic idea give... Province war score cost, so this would make us be able to take more faster. Sounds nice. Um, quantity sounds nice because of the manpower recovery speed bonus. Means that we can keep up with the Ottomans. Offensive also sounds nice just because it makes everything better. That siege ability will speed these wars up fast. So I have to ask myself what's worth more to me, speeding up the wars or getting more from the wars. And I think speeding up the wars. We're not going to immediately start on that idea group because we have the writer technology coming up soon. Diplo relations don't care about the emirs. Wait a minute. Uh, so I can't accept this because the emirs absolutely cannot get more influence. Emirs will not be happy with any of the rest of these. Of course they won't. <laughs> of course they won't. So 1520 here in September gonna lose this, which is good. That will make us better able to, well, just not have this catastrophe, this disaster fire. Very good. Um, that. There's our military tech. So, better cavalry. And better cannons. Really, the cannons are the important part of this. Now, I want to build more cannons, and we finally can. Okay, good. We were exceeding our force limit for quite some time. This castle will be done... Uh, whatever, I'll just... Throw a cannon on it. Throw a cannon on it. Are all of our forts necessary? Mm, no, probably not, but that's okay. Counted judge... Don't want another advisor, so that's quite all right. Yeah, you're gonna take this in this war, finally giving you military access to your own territories, which means in the next war I should probably take this. Surrounding their territory makes it so that nobody else can take it, though I wouldn't be against Kark Younglu or even Ak Younglu coming in here and trying to take chunks out of this. Because what matters is that they're gone and I have this. So in the next war, we're gonna open up by Hopefully taking out their navy. Speaking of... Get that navy up to shape. I'm gonna delete this one and... Build more ships on this side of the Sinai Peninsula. Because we do not have a Suez Canal. Which means these ships, to get over here... the. <laughs> Ming just... Ming considers me a rival? Sure do. Wow, we have a lot of rivals. The Ottomans, the Spanish, the English, Karkianlu, and the Chinese. <laughs> our, our fleets can't go all the way around Africa because we don't have it mapped out, so uh, deleting fleets down here and rebuilding them up there is the only way to effectively do that. Which if it seems silly to you, it's because it's silly. Austria is still the emperor. No surprises there. Five years, we'll be able to annex Gungola, which sounds nice. We'll free us up to vassalize somebody else. New state emerges in the Sudan. Uh, it's right here, so we won't be able to see this, but Funj. Oh, yeah, we can see Funj. It's now appeared. I do like these events, particularly that happen in Africa with... Um, 
these states just popping up as soon as they became uh, part of the historical record. Like, there was probably someone here before, but we don't know. And then on this year, this is the earliest we know about these people. So bam, here they are. <laughs> Columbian Exchange. Less great. The emirs are not pleased, but I can deal with it. Uh, that's the the one downside to playing as the Mamluks is that the emirs, because of the Mamluk army emirs uh, thing here, value here, you can't do much with them. They constantly have almost too much authority, almost too much. Well, this fort's done, so you two can get up here. Up here, kind of. If I wanted to declare war on you, I don't have any claims on you yet, so that's what we should be doing with our last diplomat, is getting claims on Edirne and Constantinople. Now Byzantium won't be happy once we do that, but I don't think we really need Byzantium anymore at this point, so if they kill our alliance, so be it. I don't care much. Don't care much at all. So, there's that. How much are we making in Alexandria? Almost 20 ducats a month? 23 ducats a month. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. We are rowing in it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So we're doing fine. Actually, we're doing great. Saying fine is really underselling the position we're doing, and it's literally just a matter of time until we win at this point. I don't see this turning around. <laughs> I, I do not see the Ottomans possibly being able to turn this around for themselves. Unless I just completely fuck up. Which is possible, which is very possible, but just not likely. So I'm gonna get- I'm gonna keep Jokmok just in case one of the other two dies because he's pretty okay. It'll cost us a little, but I think that's fine. How's our truce expire with you? December. So I'm gonna stop drilling. And be over here, because what we want is this and this. And we want it immediately. So once we get close to December, I'm gonna move the fleet up here. And just gonna try to run across and grab these. That might not work well. They do have a pretty large navy here, but I'm hopeful. Now the game is tempting me again with Defender of the Faith, which would make the morale of our armies and navies better, and I'm going to take it. Now I'm going to get a huge prestige hit if I refuse to join a Muslim nation when they are attacked by a non-Muslim. Or it might just be Sunni, actually, a Sunni nation attacked by a non-Sunni nation. And that's bound to happen pretty quickly, actually, but... I, I'll live with it. So I'm waiting here a month for this value to get above 25, so we can also fabricate a claim on a dune. That makes it slightly cheaper to get in the war. Are you goddamn serious? Alright, you know what? Activate all forts. That's your problem, dude. You, you can't even take that out. We'll deal with it later. We'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What if I promise you territory you still wouldn't join because you're in debt? Well, that's fine. Avaria. Avaria. Avars. Avars. I should know where this is. Oh, you're tiny. So tiny. Okay, yeah. Not a problem. Hungary and Poland would join without any territorial promises, which is sweet because I don't want to give any. Cool. 
Naval battle went well. We are crossing over here. We have this blockaded, which will make it fall a little bit faster, but just to put the icing on the cake, going to do an artillery barrage in both provinces. Artillery barrage instantly breaches the wall, which is... The siege mechanics in this game are a little weird. Uh, I'm rushing this just so no one else gets it. I'm winning this. Hand away, okay. So... Oh, what? Bless you, Poland. You did not need to do that. Running in and dying for me. Um, now, let's be smart about this. I'm hiring this guy. He's way too expensive, but he's giving our armies better morale, and that's what we need right now. They are in the mountains, so they get a minus one. Their leader is about on par with ours, a little bit worse. But we outnumber them, our quality is much better, so taking them down, not at all a problem. Or difficult. After we take a turn, I'm gonna do the same thing we did last time, occupy all of this, leave my allies to take care of this, and there we are. <laughs> Actually, first things first. Go take care of this bullshit down here. <laughs> exact same thing as last time. They really need to deal with those rebels permanently. Well, you all can go back to protect and trade as far as I'm concerned. Scoop the bailiff. Rebel successful, damn it. This, the downside to building a fort is if they take the fort, like they did, now I have to... Oh, I did not want to remove that. Influence. Can I cancel influence? No. I'll just have to keep an eye out for it. Oops. This is severely ahead of time. I'm surprised that we could get it. That was very sad. Okay, that's gone. You come back to Adana, and once you're up here, I'll figure out what to do with you. Can cause a cultural interaction. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. That's cool. I have, ah, no. So I'm gonna go there, and once we're here, we're gonna take care of this army, no problem. I'm actually gonna let our. Ooh, we got ruthless. Damn, um, that's very good. I'm just gonna let our troops recover here for a short while. Oh, he got ruthless and then immediately disappeared. So I'm gonna send them off to Trebizon actually, because if we can take this fort, and I think we can, they won't be able to come back in here anymore. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. That's way too many troops for me to deal with. And never mind. <laughs> I, I guess I dealt with it. Their morale must have been terrible for me to win that so easily. I'm very okay with that. Very okay with that. So yeah, our allies are making short work of stuff up there. Hopefully that means eventually they'll swoop into here. If they don't, again, it's not the end of the world, because I think we have this in the back. Um, let's go there. Let's look Brussels. Let's double back over here. Oh, you think you're blockading that? No. Should let our fleet recover, actually. You go here, so we can repair you. Oh, 
I know that letting them sit here and take attrition is a stupid idea. You're locked in to move there? Okay. You're locked in to die, my friend. Let's split you into groups of four, because I'm not afraid of anything on this side of that fort. And siege everything down. Alrighty. Group of trade technology. We got it, game. So we are maxed out on Diplo points. We could buy this way ahead of time, but it would be smarter to develop provinces. Um, there you are. That below 500. Now we need to get this below 500. And there we go. Oh, hey, Mother Russia. <laughs> this is a very smooth sailing stream so far. Uh, I guess we keep the disciplined guy just because he's cementing our ability to knock around the Ottomans. <laughs> yeah, they're, now they're requesting peace. Ah, it's so that is pleasing. Alright. Take care of this tiny little army here. Done. So, until you all get to Karaman, one here, one here, one here, one here. Split this in half so we're not taking attrition anymore. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. It's just watching everything fall into place. You go to Aiden, and that'll be everything on the side of the Caucasus that I actually want. However, well, we have 99% war score. I guess, I guess we should sue for peace. I would like it if they got into war with somebody else, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Which is fine, actually, just... I'd like to keep socking it to them a little bit. How close am I? Pretty close. Um, we just need to remove the Ottomans from the map and get this up to 100. And this is three quarters of the way, or three fifths of the way, and this is... Uh, one or two more wars, I think. It's very close. Uh, can I make you release anyone? Merity, that would annoy you probably. Wouldn't directly help me. Okay, with giving these back to Byzantium, I guess. <laughs> can I give all of that to Hungary? Yeah, I'm gonna give all that to Hungary. Hungary has been very good to us, so it's about time they got something from one of these wars. Now, I didn't need to give them anything, but <laughs> frankly, they earned it. <laughs> and it's not like we're gonna be playing this campaign after it's over. Yeah, your Wi-Fi has been giving you a lot of trouble lately. Sorry about that, man. Dreams doing fine on my end. Apparently, Australia does not want me to stream. <laughs> okay. Another war done. So you are pull up? Ooh, not at all. Protect in Alexandria. Five, six, seven. And let's mothball these forts. Let's take this idea. Let's reduce our extension and let it go. So we should be ready to annex. Yep, Dongola now. Means that we should be looking for our next vassal. Can only watch this at 720p. I mean, 
I think I've downgraded the resolution to 720p anyway, so if you're streaming it any higher than that, non-partnered streamers can't stream higher than 720p anyway. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Offering vassalization. Akpianlu would accept vassalization. That's interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting because you have cores on a bunch of stuff I could take for you. I won't, but I could. Hmm. Yeah, let's start making friends with you. Now, drill and drill. One, two, one, two, three, you can each have three more, cool. Volt risk is not great here. It's okay. Just do that. And now we wait. Compensate the traders? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Do, do, do. Uh, what would make this go faster and be much easier is if other powers started picking on the Ottomans. Hopefully, that starts soon. Because we have everything I need from them. Really, it's just like this right here that you actually need in order to count as having annexed them. Them existing is the only problem. Right now. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. I recall this. No. Renovation of Slums of Cairo gives development cost reduction. That tech cost reduction is really cool, but let's do development cost reduction. Naval Equipment Manufactory. No, it's, uh, it's a pity you can't give up Defender of the Faith. Somebody just has to take it from me. Buffering is unfortunate. I mean, I, <laughs> I'd i say this gets uploaded to YouTube, but the fun of Twitch is that you can actually talk with me in real time rather than just leave a comment in the comment section. So I, uh, I know that's not a good solution at all. Um, ally you. Now you'll want to marry me, right? Right? Oh, not yet. Okay, cool. Normally the AI jump on that sort of thing. The aggressive expansion is what's keeping us down. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Offer them military access. We can get a new scholar. Currently we get an additional merchant. Would I prefer admin tech costs? Not really. The merchant's quite cool. And we are ahead of time on tech anyway. Oh. Salis. Oh, you don't care about me. Excellent. Father the Hassa, not me. Cool. So our troops just got better, and again, the important part is that our combat width went up. Now, I I do want to vassalize at Kriyungu, but I want to wait, just like we've been waiting before, until our annexation of Dongola is done, so they don't get a penalty of relations with me from me <laughs> annexing other vassals. So now they'll be ready to go, whenever. You don't like sharing borders with me, probably. Yeah, that's alright. It could be worse. Um... Yeah, sure, that's cool. Trebizond, part of our reduced upper extension. Yep, yep, yep. Rival of our rival. Go make friends with Denmark again. Okay, game. Can do. Does reloading help you at all? Integrated, great. 
So you can go here. You can get vassalized. Delete this little army down here. Repazon. Let's reduce your revolt risk. Let's reduce your revolt risk. Anybody else around here mad? Nope. Cool. You can invite a scholar. I, uh... I'd love Jafari, but I need to be friends with the John. Nah. That's okay. Hmm. Yeah, don't want to build anything right now. This I do not. Yeah, I did. I did buy that. I'm like I didn't buy this. I definitely did. Uh, playing the courts legalism is exactly what we want. More legalism. I think we're maxed out on legalism, but whatever. Makes me very happy to see the Ottomans trapped in here. <laughs> very happy to see them trapped in there. Uh, they have a truce with the Timurids. Really? Why? Huh. Alright. Cool. Wasn't paying close enough attention, apparently. Um, you need a general. There's your general drill. We are at 65%. Now, now if we get everything else done and this isn't maxed out, you can raise this by hiring generals? I'd, I'd have to spend a lot to do this, but I could do it. Unfortunately, our golden era is going to be over in about two years. So, that's... it's fine. It's a little sad, but it's fine. Ah, Denmark doesn't have 100 with us for what reason? Different religion. Yeah, okay. Siberian natural scientist joins your court. Huh. Cool. I'm not gonna use him. Well, that's pretty cool. Send them a gift of a lot, so we can get a tiny amount of difficult points again. Now we need to... It really, really wants me to go to war with Ethiopia. Not happening, game. Not worth my time. That is not what we're doing today. Now, how can I build up more for this war? Hush Caravan's raided. Okay, spend to protect them, I guess. Just... Build more factories, huh? Gains influential... Yeah. Superior modifier... Or superior... Oh, cool! That gave us 1% professionalism and that's good because this grows quite slowly our drilling armies make this go up one percent per year and we have 32 33 years left of drilling every single day for this to get maxed out which isn't terrible it it seems like it more or less lines up with the timeline for how long it's going to take to annex the Ottomans anyway, so it should be fine. End of a golden era. Womp womp. That's okay. Printing press won't fire for a while, so I think we're good on tech for, for the time being. Next, purification laws. You have no Swahili provinces? Huh. Sell off Swahili... You would need... Really? Really? The Mamluks get something for taking this? That's... Interesting. 
Very interesting. A group from Swahili lands. Why is it Swahili? Am I Swahili? Promote Swahili in government. Wait. Wait a minute. What? I'm Swahili. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I get it. So that's why you would want to... Um, that's why you would want a ruler from one of the other cultures, because then you could do these. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Not going to do it, but that's interesting. It's very interesting. I like that mechanic. Doesn't... It doesn't make itself immediately obvious, unfortunately. 0 0.38, 0 0.03, 0.68, damn. I'm building these. Da, 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 da. We are going to be truce in 1544. Oh, so I should be fabricating claims on them. I'm just so used to having claims on them already. So what do I want to put claims on? Probably stuff in here, right? That's a dead admiral. That's okay. We'll get him later. Probably stuff in here. I'm assuming that if they're in a weak enough position... Oh, they're allied with Kazan. Huh. Maybe not, then. Make better friends with Kazan. Uh, Kazan and Avaria. I probably should have forced them to break their treaties. Huh. No. Kazan's not that big of a problem. Not a big problem at all. How's Europe doing? English are doing fairly well. France isn't. Austria's doing pretty good. Jolof... See, this is why I didn't want to be Defender of the Faith. Uh... No. <laughs> Somebody else can deal with that. Because they are our vassal, they should start fabricating claims on bordering territories of our rival. Music. Music loud, music quiet. Or just music. <laughs> uh, how close are we on time? Way ahead of time. Way ahead of time. This is cool. Not gonna be super... Super helpful, but it's cool. This will be incredibly nice. Engineering core. Grand Army is... Eh, well, I suppose Grand Army will be nice in helping us take more faster. Ah, music is interesting, yeah. What is this? Faith restored. I think. And we just switch to... Open Seas. Uh, open Seas is pretty old and I recognize it. Faith Restored seemed new to me. Uh, 0.03, 0.35... Oh fuck, okay, yeah, sure, <laughs> I'll build it there. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. So now we are back on our development game. So I'm gonna spend all of these down below 500. Just because a couple of them are getting way too high. Cool. Intricate web weaver. Pretty cool. Conversion successful. Now we should have... Do we have this yet? No, we need to convert one more. And then we'll have this ticking at least. I don't think we'll... We might get this, because religious gives some interesting ideas. But may maybe not. Genoa. Sure. Oh, you're at war with the Ottomans. Haha, -ha, it's happening. Oh, you're attacking. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> Which means the Ottomans now, by proxy, have access. Damn it. <laughs> I fucked up. That's okay. 
Let's send them an insult. Won't do anything, but it will be mildly cathartic. Take this. Ah, I could take Defender of the Faith again. I'm not going to. I might take it right before the war if we can still have access to it then, but in the meantime, I don't want to be called into any wars that I'm going to have to say no to. Uthman Zangi here got better siege, but they're doing okay. Just gonna celebrate it for one day. Who are you? Well, with just with Genoa. Ah, no one came to defend you. No! <laughs> Hungary, what's happening? <laughs> Must be in the Danish conquest to dissolve. Ah, well, eh. Poor, poor dead. Poor Hungary. Ah, uh, that's alright, Mother Russia. Have a good night, man. Sorry about that. Hmm. Poland is also involved in that war? No, different war that they're losing. Okay, our allies are just getting their asses kicked. Luckily, I think that we can stand on our own and not need them. I think. Pretty confident about that. Those are force limit booking. More cannons. Awesome. Always more cannons. We're three years ahead of time. Definitely give me more prestige consistently. Always nice. So taking things in this war will be very, very easy. As I of course or er, claims down here, so the war goal will probably be Aiden or something like that. Knock that out. They're going to be forced to siege down either Trebizond or one of these before they can even get into my territory, which gives me a great opportunity to attack them. Um, I never switched this guy out. I'm like, why are we making money so slowly? That's why. Um, that's okay. Hell, I might as well switch this guy back in. Because we're going to be at war soon, so... More military points uh, does not hurt us. Does not hurt us at all. 1544. Ah, Bulgarian separatists. Causing problems for you two, but not for me. Very okay with that. Our troops will be up in 54 August. So January 54, I might cancel it. The uh, drilling, I mean. Why not? We'll see. It's going okay so far. Yeah, this is a fairly easy achievement. A bit slow of an achievement. I, I could be gaming it a lot, breaking truces, or... Probably I would have made this go faster if I had fabricated more claims on them more quickly, rather than how slowly I've been doing it. Because claims let you take more in a war. If I had focused more on trying to woo the Polish, I might have been able to do it more quickly, but I'm not actually sure about that. At all. Quit drilling, quit drilling. Quit. Yeah, you're good. And let's unmoth all the forts, activate the forts. Early modern administration is kind of okay. Man of War is going to be helpful. We should get our navy an admiral. Not an amazing admiral, but it's something. Now we're going to go over to states and territories. Yep, because we have 
more states we can develop. So first up is going to be Thrace, naturally, because this is real good. Next would be... Oh. Aiden, A-Y-D-I-N. Aiden, yeah. Then... Caradinas? Caradinas? Dinits? Caradinits? Don't know. Do not know. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. States demand control provinces. Surprise, surprise, it's the Uema again. Let's give them yet another worthless territory down here. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Now, I might want to switch my focus over to admin points. So I can actually core everything relatively quickly. I was talking about like, oh, I don't need that, but admin ideas might be the next group that I take. There's the truce timer. How, how are we looking here? Can I threaten war with you? You wouldn't accept it? That's okay. I will take... Oh, you two in. Can't call the Polish in, unfortunately. I'll take Aiden. Step one is splitting both of you in half and just taking everything that I have a claim on. Because I don't think they'll do anything about that. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're gonna roll up here. I have enough time to very relaxed, very slowly take these, walk you over here, group you up, then take that out. Should be able to do this very, very comfortably. And they ran off. <laughs> now, should I be saving up for this? I absolutely need to be saving up for this. This will give us better military tactics and better infantry, both of which are quite nice. Not at war with anyone else, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Ah, I can't core them now because I'm at war with somebody who also considers them to be their core territory. I should have thought of that. No, not a game breaker, not a big deal, just small oversight on my part. Okay, I mean, that's the war won. They're digging around up here in Poland for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. Oh, uh, you know, actually... This will be nice, because this will allow me to get a bunch of artillery that I don't currently have. And that sounds quite enjoyable. So I'm gonna send these two over here, these two over here. No, really, there's not a fort to take until we're way up in... Crimea? Is there army? Opposition, like maybe I should be a little careful, but that's okay. There we go. Now I'm not going to upgrade our troops until I'm sure that there are no Mamluks or uh, no Ottomans hanging out nearby. They won't be able to get to me in time, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade over here. Get this staff back up together. Um. Okay, just because the Ottomans are being super... Yeah, Ottomans are being super annoying with taking out my allies' fleets, I'm going to try and... Yeah, try and take them out. Because these naval battles aren't super relevant to the war, but they do build up war score, and I don't want them building up any war score at all. 
we're gonna wait on our morale here. <laughs> it's taking a hot minute. Um, oh, you got military access through here. Interesting. Weird, but interesting. think you guys can take care of this on your own, but all the same, let's send this back to repair before I hunt down the rest of my fleet. And you just to get rid of these annoying friends of ours. Local militias. Uh, you don't need the militias, I guess. <laughs> I, I want the militias, but uh, I guess not. I guess not, game. We have that. Roll up here. Okay, we're at 54. 54 is nice, 54 is not good enough though. Good enough will be 90s. Lock in, lock in, locked in, cool. Boom, oh, stack wide. God damn, that is nice. Okay. You're gonna go up there, you're gonna split into groups of four, even though that's risky, just so I can carpet siege as much as possible. So that we can get this over with faster, so that we can get our truce up faster, so that we can start all this over again faster. Because it will be a few cycles of war, yet until the Ottomans are wiped off of the map as the achievement requires. So, Premia, I'm just... I don't need the artillery. I don't. I'm gonna blockade it. And that should be enough. Cool. Took out their fleet again. Move up to Kuban, move up to As Asrabia? Asrabia? and Azov. Go there. <laughs> yes, to that place I can't pronounce, and then that place I can't pronounce. Ah. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing how much I can't pronounce correctly. Ooh, you all. Actually, go fuck this up. Yeah, yeah, go. Hunt that stack down and take care of that. Split you up to take this. Cool, and you're grouped up. Where are they retreating to? Really? What? Okay. Royal Mamluk. Group you all together. Oh, I guess we're going down here then. I didn't realize that they'd retaken that. Yeah, Kazan. Kazan, I would be happy for peace with you. Wherein you... And no treaties with... The Ottomans? That not doable. Huh. Oh, you already have an old treaties with them. Well, cool. Um, yeah, give me war reparations and I'm good. Goodbye, Kazan. You are a vassal, so I can't settle for peace separately with you. That's annoying. Get out of here, Ottomans. No one wants you here. I will wait for this to go down, and then I'm going to bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, bam, boop, beep, take as much as I possibly can. <laughs> so let's score, bleh, let's score, sort by war score. Nish, Avalonia, that, that's all nice. Yodoro, I don't want because it's not contiguous borders. Don't want it yet, don't want it yet. Cool. Don't want it yet. Cool. Aiden. Got that. Got that. Got that.
And I think that's good. Now, yeah, well... Seljuks? Can I form the Seljuks? Is that a thing? Huh. Pretty close to forming... Well, Arabia, we're kind of on the way to forming. I guess we could do that. Eventually. Not anytime soon, but eventually. Boom. Oh, okay. So... What, it's probably two or three more wars with the Ottoman before we completely wipe them out. After the first couple of wars, this becomes quite trivial. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, flipping... Culture is an option. I hadn't even thought of that. Uh, do 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 do. Let's look at the. Yeah, I could form Rome. What culture do I need to be? Turkish. Okay, Ottomans do not exist. Okay. I'm not the Ottomans. Yep, I just need to make Turkish my primary culture, and that's it. Huh, okay, yeah, awesome. I will definitely do that. Oh, God damn it! I didn't mean to click on anything in here. Well, whatever. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it's just step one of that, getting rid of the Ottomans. That is going to take a few, few tries. Um, right, you'll go there, there, mothball, forts, and let the clock run. Tech trade in Alexandria. Hold on. Oh. Don't want that at all. The Knights want access to your war with the Ottomans. Knock yourself out, buddy. Tech trade in Alexandria. Yeah. Close to my two being able to culture flip. Um, Turkish currently makes up 26%, but once we once we take all this Turkish territory, if we develop it more, we should be able to be Turkish. Oh God, I saw I saw this and I thought that we were getting attacked somehow. So the Ottomans are currently defending against Venice in the Venetian Crusade against the Ottomans. Not going too well, apparently. Oh, it is going well. Good. Good. I don't care who takes any of this. I kind of want the Turkish territory so we can culture flip, like you were suggesting. Ah, uh, they have the Janissary system. Neat. Isn't there an achievement for restoring the Sultanate of Rum? Hold on, I... I have the wiki page pulled open. Ah, uh, da 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 are you M? Nope. Definitely the Sultanate of Rome. That's the Ottomans. Fire the Rome. Oh, yeah, yeah. As Karaman reformed them. Yeah, that's right. I remembered there was something. Statesman's dead. That's cool. Don't care. Switch you out with you. More coring. More coring. Awesome. How on earth do you have 40k troops? I guess I didn't drain their manpower this time around, huh? That's okay. Pontic Orthodox Statement joins your... Yeah, don't care about a statesman. Invite Scholar. It's the admin guy. I don't care about the admin one. Let's go to local autonomy and just boop, 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 because... Absolutism isn't a thing yet, so we don't really need to worry about that. Point one nine, point five. That's probably the best I'm gonna get. Hunda Vendigar. 
0. Now, I was saying earlier, and I think it's probably true, that building all of these manufactories probably won't be worthwhile because I'm hoping to have the game wrapped up by then, but eh, it doesn't hurt. They help, so. Is very okay. Fill our coffers. Very easy mission. I will do that. Uh, we took a bunch of territory. We've just cored a bunch of stuff. So, yep. Our force limit should be higher. Meaning, more cannons. And, this idea means a lot more cannons. Oh, there's a printing press. Uh, grant aid, deny aid, let's deny aid, because I can't immediately afford it. So, printing press developed... Oh. Way up there. So let's buy printing press down here. Wrapping up the end of the year right here. I'm still gonna play for quite some time, but I am gonna take a couple of minutes to get some more tea after we hit January. But I'll be here. Oh, I don't care about any of these. Let's say Ming, they're far away and can't bother me. I, I probably should be lending out my troops condottieri to the Venetians, or at least giving them help in this war, just to make it go faster. That's okay. So if you are watching on YouTube, yes, this is it for today, so stop by tomorrow for more. And if you're watching on Twitch, I'll be back in like two, three minutes. Till then, bye.